In Florida, a new law went into effect banning most abortions after six weeks. Critics of the ban argue many women don't even know they're pregnant at that point. These laws are being written by people who don't really understand medical care. Vice President Kamala Harris traveled to Florida to campaign on the issue. Harris blames new restrictive abortion laws on former President Trump. Donald Trump handpicked three members of the United States Supreme Court because he intended for them to overturn Roe. And as he intended, they did. Trump used a day off from his criminal hush money trial to campaign in the Midwest. At a rally in Wisconsin, he celebrated the fact that abortion has now moved to a state issue. We did something that took courage, but it's something that everybody wanted to see. They wanted to bring it back, and now I say it's up to the state. In Arizona, after a near total abortion ban from 1864 was reinstated, the state legislature narrowly voted to repeal it. The White House has called on Congress to reinstate Roe v. Wade. Women's health and lives now hang in the balance. 21 states have abortion bans in effect. In nearly all of these states, doctors can be charged with a felony for simply doing their jobs. In Kansas, a new law requires abortion clinics to give patient information to the state. And in Louisiana, Democratic lawmakers are trying to add exceptions for rape and incest to the state's near-total ban. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News.